Good afternoon. My name is Jim Conlon and welcome to the latest edition of the Entertainment Show, where we look at cult, where we look at TV series that have led a lasting mark uh, throughout the, the decades in our special documentary feature called Classics. This month, our fee, oh, we're focusing in on the TV series Gotham, which ranked from 2014 to 2019, five seasons in total. It really showed the true landscape and the, sh the sheer variety of uh, the Batman sort of universe. It looks at a, a young uh, a James Gordon and a young Bruce Wayne, their origins, how it came about and the whole origin stories of Gotham in terms of a big city, in terms of good versus bad versus evil, as the saying goes. And I'm delighted to be joined by one of the stars of the show, uh, the one and only Jessica Lucas. She played the role of Tabitha Gallivan, she came on uh, originally in terms of season uh, two, but her character was so good that they kept her for another 67 episodes. Uh, <laughs> Jessica, Gotham, uh, in terms of you uh, getting that role as Tabitha Gallivan in season two, uh, were you pleasantly surprised when this, uh, after season two when they said, listen, we want to keep uh, Tabitha on, but we want to kill off Tio? Uh, yes. Uh, you know, when they first approached me to audition for the show, uh, I wasn't even really sure what character I was auditioning for. The, the sides were very basic and, um, there wasn't a lot of information on who this character would become. Um, and so when I finally booked it, they told me sort of what they had in store for her and some of the, some of the plans they had and that they wanted her to feel like, um, a precursor to Catwoman, um, and that they had really solid plans to to you know keep her on the series and and turn her into something bigger than what we had intended. And I was ecstatic because um, uh, yeah, it was just it was so much fun to be on the show. So, so when you were doing your research, you saw sort of the variant of Catwoman, and we saw to see the whip as a, a, a sort of your prominent sort of weapon of a, a choice uh, throughout uh, Gotham. You sort of had, um, dare I say it, several uh, uh, laps, lapses of uh, good versus evil in terms of personality, in terms of your own sort of judgment. You were walking the straight, narrow line all the time uh, between both sides in terms of dipping over to the bad side. And then obviously your good intentions sort of came to the fore on sort of others. So I suppose a real sort of uh, challenging character to play because you had to adverse to both sides of her personality. Yeah, I mean, she certainly erred more on the the quote unquote evil side than the good side, I think. But but I, I think when they when they incorporated the story of Tabitha and Butch, um, and she started to have feelings for him, that we got to see a lot more of her humanity. And so sometimes when she was making decisions, that side of her would come through. But I felt mostly <laughs> she was she was fairly evil objectively um but the thing that I love the most about Gotham is it always showed um you know why the villains were were doing what they were doing and how they became who they became as opposed to just sort of um keeping them very one-dimensional and not explaining those backstories and and I I felt that made her a lot more interesting and, and richer to play for me and obviously coming in as that type of uh, enforcer from the start, that sort of, uh, like I say, badass uh, type sort of uh, girl. Uh, Do you get an awful sort of a trail, a journal and rush in <laughs> terms of playing those sort of stunts as well, in terms of the action sequences? Was it a sort of real sort of, yeah, I'm sort of really digging this sort of feminine chick? Yeah, absolutely. I think um, I don't get to play roles like that very often. Um, and I grew up playing a lot of sports. And so the opportunity to play a role where I got to show off my physicality and be really challenged um, in terms of stunts. Um, and, you know, the whip was a really big challenge learning how to use that. Um, uh, and I had to learn how to use that really quickly, like within hours of, of stepping on set. And then I had to use it. And so that was intimidating. And, you know, I had to use a lot of guns and and things, but I was always really um, excited to see what they would come up with next. And um, our stunt team was so amazing and patient. Um, we had a lot of time to learn sequences. So uh, it was great. 
It was great. And in yeah. terms of being involved in sort of a, a tight knit series, and when you came in uh, in terms of season two, actually you were there from season two, episode one to season five, uh, episode one, in terms mm-hmm. of that longevity as such. When you sign on for a big uh, project like Gotham, are you sort of bound in in terms of other projects? Are you limited in terms of what you can do? Or what are certain scripts or things you go, oh, that looks really appealing, but I can't really commit to it in terms of the schedule that I have because you just never know when you're going to be called upon in terms of an episode per season. Yeah. Um, so Gotham took nine months to shoot a season. And, um, you know, you also have all these exclusivity deals with Fox. So basically, um, I was bound to doing the show for four years. Um, so yeah, sometimes you had to say no to things or, or you know, you were just so tired after doing a season that you wanted to just relax and focus on being at home with your family. And, um, yeah, but it it was very time consuming, but, um, I felt fulfilled enough that it was sort of my primary focus for those four years. I suppose your character took on a sort of version of that sisterhood sort of team and you took uh, Selena, Kyle, Cameron, Binkova under your wing and obviously Mm -hmm. a sort of uh, what I would say another love-hate relationship uh, in terms of uh, with uh, Irene Richards uh, in terms of Barbara sort of Kane uh, character as well so there was almost a feeling that while you were always at each other's throats, you had pretty much admiration for each other as well. Yeah. Um, that was one of my favorite elements of being on the show was, was doing um, all of the stuff with the sirens. I, I felt like when Danny Cannon and, um, and John came forward with that idea that that was a really interesting uh, direction to take her in. Um, and in terms of just showing like a strong sisterhood on television and showing three women who were um, confident and strong and kicking ass at the same time felt um, like that's not an opportunity you get often on television. Um, and then the, the, the particular dynamics between each of the characters I felt um, were were really interesting. I mean, you had the the relationship between Barbara and Tabitha that started out as something sort of like a relationship that had a lot of sexual tension to it and then sort of evolved more into like a re- really deep friendship. Um, and then you had that mentorship relationship between um, Tabitha and, and um, Selena, uh, where she was sort of the big sister and showing her the ropes. And I, I thought that all worked really well together. And in terms of that, you mentioned the sort of sexual sort of tension that there was between yourself and Irene Richards at the start. In terms mm-hmm. of portraying a, a that uh, on, on screen, is that sort of challenging in terms of portraying those sort of uh, uh, emotions for a character in terms of maybe for Butch and when he's Solomon Grundy to try and portray those character emotions and same with Barbara Keane in terms of the cat woman, uh, she was that uh, Tabitha was sort of was she sexually attracted to power in terms of people that had power? Was it in terms of that? Was the power that really was a uh, ah, uh, that is a very good question. Um, I wasn't challenging, I mean, um, I, I, I think that's that's I think the theme of sort of all of the villains of, of Batman or the, our version, our telling of it is that they were all looking for love. Like they were all these characters that were very devoid of, of love in their lives. And, and that was very prevalent in all of their backstories. So I think, I think that was, you know, as soon as she found somebody that she could love and care for, and that was going to give that back to her, that that were the, those were the moments that brought out her, um, humanity so I'm not it wasn't so much about power as it was about just somebody that would see her and understand her and 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 love her even though she is not maybe the most easily lovable person um and that was accepting of her weird things like her tendency towards violence and you know just all of those themes that we as humans are looking for in life I thought they did a good job of layering that into a show that was that was you know a a cartoon essentially and uh, Jessica, in terms of your working week on, t- on set of uh, Gotham, in terms of from one day when you got the script, in terms of looking through it from the table reads to the actual shooting, block shooting, and maybe shooting on set and maybe going out in the Steiner studios, maybe off-shoot locations, how long did it take 
uh, to shoot one episode and in terms of wardrobe were you in there say 6 a 6 a.m in the morning and then maybe going <laughs> home maybe it's 11 p.m at night some days yeah um each episode would take um about nine days to shoot um and they were massive you know there's we had a huge cast and and there was always tons of stunts and location shooting in new york city which is is very um challenging um to to because there's just so much activity and hustle and bustle in new york so it's hard to to get a shooting day in so there were very long days um in terms of of wardrobe and everything i mean that was the most fun part but yeah that stuff took a very long time as opposed to you know i'm on a medical show now where you're you're in and out in a half an hour gotham would be you know two hours plus once you go through uh hair and makeup and wardrobe and have it all perfected and and because we were dealing with that sort of heightened world everything had to be over the top and um perfect you know my makeup was always very perfect and um the wardrobe you'd have to go in multiple times to make sure everything fit to a t and that's not something you deal with on television very often so mm. it's time consuming <laughs> but fun <laughs> And Jessica, in terms of uh, your own uh, death scene, when you heard the script, and I suppose no character, no actress wants to be sort of killed off, but you are probably more, more aware that it was the sort of final season as well. Mm -hmm. In terms mm -hmm. of when you saw Tabitha's uh, demise, were you sort of happy with the sort of death scene or would you have liked it to be more dramatic or in terms of a uh, blaze of glory type uh, sort of scenario mm -hmm. in terms of your character? Or what was your sort of initial reaction when you saw it on script and then you saw the final product when you saw the scenes live? Yeah, um, well, we had set up this whole revenge storyline at the end of season four um, because uh, Penguin kills Butch at the end of season four. And so season five was supposed to be about Tabitha seeking out her revenge for that act. And um, we didn't know going into season five that we were going to get such a short season and that it was going to be the final season. So when that word came through, I think um, the writers felt like they had a very, very limited amount of time to wrap up all of the storylines that they had in their, their head. And so Tabitha just happened to be first in what was going to be sort of a, a multi-episode arc um, to wrap up that storyline ended up having to, to take up only one episode. Um, and I thought that the, the, the death was, was good, but I think had we had more time, it might have been um, a little bit more elaborate and maybe, yeah, I, I wish it had a little bit more um, meat to it, I guess. And I suppose, uh, Jessica, uh, the second sort of last question I'll ask you now, and probably one of the hardest questions I'm going to ask you in this interview. Let's pretend there was a, a Gotham sort of dictionary and an encyclopedia as such. And they put your character, Tabitha Galavan, uh, Tabitha Dumas, uh, into the uh, actual encyclopedia. And in terms of the synopsis underneath, they left two blank sentences in terms of describing that character. Having And they, they got onto your talent age and got onto you and said, we like Jessica Lucas to write those two sentences, having portrayed the role of Tabitha Galavan. What do you like those two sentences to read? Oh, wow. <laughs> um, I would I would just keep it pretty simple. I would say badass woman. Badass woman. Mm -hmm. uh, Jessica, in terms of 20, uh, uh, 2021 and 2022, I know you're busy, you're back uh, shooting uh, certain things at the moment. Have you certain projects, movies, TV series that are coming our way, new seasons that are going to be, come here maybe later on in the summer here in Ireland and the UK and in terms of what we're going to see in store for Jessica Lucas? Yeah, I'm, I'm not 100% sure that it's in Ireland, but um, I'm currently on a show called The Resident. Um, uh, it's in its fifth season. I joined last season in season four, and that's taking up all of my time at the moment. So um, if it's in Ireland locally, you should check it out. And uh, Jessica, have you ever been to Ireland yourself? I haven't. No, I'm no. dying to go. Dying to go. Definitely once COVID is over, that's something mm -hmm. that should be on the pipeline it, for you. Anyway. It's high on my list for sure. And I suppose, Jessica, for the last 20 seconds now, I'm just going to turn it over to your character, Tabitha Galavan, and she might describe what it was like for her time uh, in Gotham. 
as my character if you want yeah it's just this one <laughs> sort of twist um what would she say about her time in gotham i don't know i don't know you know what it's been so long since i played the role and i tend to put things to bed after okay. so i couldn't i don't even i can't even go back there mentally it's not funny no problem in the world yeah. uh, jessica lucas jessica lucas uh, a pleasure talking to you today to relive your memories uh playing tabitha galifan uh, in total 67 uh episodes in fairness there was five seasons uh, of gotham you were in four of them uh played a prominent uh, role uh, throughout the the our, the cold classic uh, series which was gotham which was part of our documentary uh, this month jessica a pleasure we look forward to seeing you in the resident and uh, hopefully it's hitting our screens here in ireland uh, sometime soon but for the moment jessica lucas take care god bless mm -hmm. and stay safe thank you for having me cheers take care jessica bye